Quantum computing is where scientists and engineers go when they need to solve the most complex and difficult problems. And with me is Hunter Gaylor uh, with New to the Street and also Bill McGann, uh, who is the Chief Technology Officer at Quantum Computing Incorporated uh, to explain what the company is doing and quantum computing in general. And I'll kick things off and then we can both kind of kind of chip in here. So there's something you've got, Bill, Entropy Quantum Computer. So can you explain what that is, what kind of problems it may solve? Sure, and thanks for allowing me to be here with you this morning. So yeah, Entropy Quantum Computing is a, a new concept for quantum information processing. And unlike the typical architectures that people are developing and talking about today, which are using you know, semiconducting, sort of superconducting pairs of electrons or um, you know, ion you know, based formulations where they're building these pristine qubits, uh, the systems that we're developing and designing are based on using the sources of what those systems would consider to be noise that they're trying to eliminate, and we're using them as a useful source of energy. So we're using the entropy of the environment to actually solve very complex quantum based problems in the case of specific examples for um, constrained optimization. So examples would be very complex problems in supply chain, logistics, finance, uh, even some of the areas of medical science where you are dealing with problems that contain lots of complex variables that have lots of interactions among them to build uh, solutions to, to these problems that provide efficient answers to the world. Mm -hmm. No, it's really incredible. And you know, you spoke to a couple of the use cases, Bill, and one of them was finance. And there was a recent article that just came out about your company, which I found really incredible, that you're using your, your quantum systems with Rabobank for yes. fraud detection. Can you talk to a little bit? Sure, to that? It's, it's one of our first instances in, in the finance. We have a couple of others, but we've been working in, in partnering with them, going over what our, what our technology can do in terms of their solutions. In the case of fraud detection, you're looking at very, very large sets of data that can either have a time temporal base element to them or they could have different sort of communities or clusters of, of uh, observations and because they can be connected in very complex ways we can use our entropy quantum computer and even some offshoots of that in our quantum machine learning applications to try to identify these anomalous transactions that would be considered fraudulent. So it's a, it's a new area. Our technology is very powerful. We've done some good demonstrations of our capabilities, which has led to this relationship with Rabobank. Mm -hmm. Very well, excited to solve well, some and, of those and, problems. And on that note, there are other companies in the quantum space. Oh. Can you talk about how you are different from these other quantum computing sure. solutions? So what makes you valuable and unique? Yeah, as, as I uh, alluded to earlier, so uh, one of the real unique features of our core technology is that because we're using the environment as a source of energy rather than treating it as a source of noise. Our systems can be constructed and architected very simply. Namely, they can run at room temperature. They run at very low levels of power. So their size, weight, power, or so-called swap C values are really efficient compared to the architectures that you are familiar with out there. The other thing that's really unique is that we can, we can solve problems that are highly connected. So I alluded to the fact that real world problems tend to have a lot of complexity in terms of the number of variables that can cause an effect or a result. And those variables interact with each other. Okay, so many of the uh, other systems out there today are not able to efficiently connect or make all the interconnections among those variables and can only give you know, partial solutions. And, and we work very well with complex, dense problems that are of a scale that is interesting to the world today, not three years from now. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to ask. How close are these to commercial applications? We're doing them today, and and because you know we're we're new into entering the market with this new technology, only about six or seven months. The technology has been under development for more than a decade and a half. Wow. So we're just sort of peeling the curtain back right now, but the systems are available online, and uh, we are actively seeking you know customers with use cases to solve these problems. So with, with being able to solve some of these problems, can you talk a little bit? It seems that you would be a really great candidate for federal funding. Can you talk about, you know, maybe your position I, in that? I can. I can talk a little about that. And yes, we are actively writing proposals to some government agencies in the energy sector. We can do a good a job with uh, energy optimization, grid optimization, 
Um, we have some programs that we're anticipating with uh, agencies that look at you know, space and atmospheric science using some of our other offshoots of the information processing, like the sensing, like LIDAR, for example, where we can use quantum information with uh, light bouncing off the surface of the Earth to measure things like particle size, the depth of snow on mountains. And because you're using quantum information and counting single photons, the information power or the power of the information that comes in a single photon is unique in terms of, of that, yeah. that approach. From, from, from the LiDAR perspective, what you just spoke yeah. about, what about some of the applications when we were talking with the CEO in the, in the healthcare and medical space? Yes, so, so entropy quantum computing, as we describe it, is really a methodology. It, it's not a thing. We put it in a box and call it an entropy quantum computer, but we can also use that same core technology, namely leveraging the stochastic nature, the entropy of the world, to count single photons. We're a photonic processing technology, and those photons can be used to do medical imaging, for example. So we can do quantum imaging, and we have, uh, I would say, a breadboard, not quite a prototype of a quantum imager running in our lab. We can look through soft tissue with visible light instead of x-rays. That's kind of a cool thing, right? Because if you want to go have mammography done, now you're talking about x-rays. We think we can do those things with optical light, with eye-safe radiation that really people don't think even penetrates your skin. Mm -hmm. But at the quantum level, information does penetrate and come back. And that helps with like the radiation and things too that does. you get with x-rays, so that could be having it, some it, health issues. It, it does, it, it, it does, but also has a scientific impact because, you know, I mean, I, I used to develop x-ray imaging systems too so um, many years ago and, and x-rays are good at giving you contrast information but those energies are so high that they really don't interact at a molecular level with the tissue inside your body they look at it as contrast the energies we're using actually interact at a molecular level we can bring back information that x-rays cannot bring back wow very interesting at a, at a super at a molecular like, level. At a molec that's incredible. You do spectroscopy if you want to throw a fancy word out. Okay. Well, there you go. We'll use that from here, <laughs> from here on out. That's very good. It's so. me. Well, thank you so much. But fascinating and the, the applications, I mean, are really exciting too, I think, for the future. Oh, it, and it, what it, it really seems like it's a game changer in the industry, and that's what's really exciting about this. Hopefully one day we can get a uh, an intro because photonic, whatever. Come, the, come visit us in our lab. We'll do a demo of all those things I talked to you about. That's really incredible. I look forward idea. to it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you.